Today we're testing the much anticipated brand new two-stage battery-operated snowblower from Ego. Just checking out the box, this thing looks like a beast. However, there's a small, a tiny little problem. You see, it's still summertime and it's almost 90 degrees outside and there's no snow in the forecast for probably the next 60 days at least. But I can't just let this sit here without diving into it. So let's have a look. But first of all, a quick wardrobe change because this is kind of ridiculous. This is a lot better. Let's have a look. Ooh, 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 look at this. Nice. Check this out. This is their latest brand new dual charger. So put both batteries on here, which come with this blower, by the way. And it charges them in under two hours. This thing feels <laughs> really, really substantial. I'm not really sure how to even open this thing. Let's just take the dual charger, put it aside. If this thing is half as strong as the box, this thing's gonna last forever. There she is. One of the first things we'll want to do though is locate. Ooh, the battery's here. There they are. I like how they've packed the two batteries. They are boxed within a box, which is pretty important, even though they're very rugged to begin with. And when you throw it onto that dual charger, it seems like they both charge at the same time. Under two hours for both to fully charge, and that's when they're down to full empty. Here's some important specs. It can throw snow up to 50 feet away. It can clear an 18 car driveway with eight inches of snow, and it includes two of their powerful 7.5 amp hour batteries. First thing we're gonna do is we are just going to undo these spin knobs here. There's two on each side. Okay, so we're just gonna take these bolts out. We're gonna place the handle control section here. Just gonna line it up the holes. There we go. One, two, one. Go back. Oh, wait. We're gonna we'll tighten those up in a second. And two more. Oh, we'll tighten these up now. If you want to adjust the height of this, depending on your height, you can. You just slide this up or down. But I think this is set pretty good for my height right now. Oh yeah, this feels good. All right, next is the chute. Same thing, like the handle, you're just gonna unscrew the green knob. Oops, take out that bolt and we are going to place the chute in just like so and we're going to put this bolt back in come on baby there's a, a square notch in it for you and I dropped the knob again all 
Okay, the chute's tight, the controls are tight. All we have to do is wait for the two batteries to charge. And while we do that, let's have a closer look at this brand new snowblower. Man, it's hot out here. <laughs> it's like really hot. Starting at the front, you have a 24 inch wide thick steel box. On either side, you have thick plastic adjustable skid shoes. So that way you can adjust the height of where this contacts the surface. And this is very handy, especially if you have a, a non-paved driveway, a gravel driveway that's with rocks. And you don't want to actually start turning that up and throwing the rocks all over the place. Inside the box, in bright eagle green, you have aggressive steel augers. On the bottom, you have a detachable scraper bar. In behind, you'll see the three-bladed impeller that will pick up the snow to shoot it out the chute. For those dark winter days or nights that you're blowing snow, there are six bright LEDs at the very top of the box as well. There are six LEDs just in front of the control panel, allowing you to see what you're doing as well. And behind there, you have a handy chute cleaning tool if by chance your chute gets jammed. Carrying on, you have 15 by five inch wheels and tires. And what I like about them is just how soft and aggressive the knobs are on these tires. These will be perfect for grip in the winter time. Right under the controls, you have the dual battery bank for both batteries that we'll put in there in just a second. Since we don't have a battery in right now, it's a good time to get familiarized with some of the controls. And there's quite a few more controls on here than on my lawnmower. So uh, let's get to what's familiar. We have a on off button. So when we press this button, the light will come on and that's going to allow you to actually start the auger. So the right handle is the auger. So what you're going to squeeze that down, press that down and hold it. And that is going to start the auger. And beside here, you have controls of the speed of the auger. So if you have light snow, you're, you're going to just need something like eco mode. And if you get into some thicker or some wetter, heavier snow, you might want to go into turbo mode even. So that is your auger controls. On the left side is your drive control. So this drive control handle is always active, mind you. So regardless if you have this pushed down and started the auger or not, you can always drive the actual wheels with this left handle as long as there's a battery in it. So, so we're gonna pretend there's a battery in it. We're gonna squeeze that. We're gonna start moving right now. Now at this point, you can let go of the right handle auger and you can use your right hand to control other things such as the drive you have low all the way to high and then one past low back there is reverse this is a heavy uh, unit so reverse is really handy also there is a nice grab handle right in the center so you can kind of manhandle this however you want if you need to tilt it back to turn it that's really useful to have you have your headlight button that controls those lights that we talked about your shoot direction you have 200 degrees of throwing angles Okay, with this joystick and then on the right side, you can control the top of the chute and there's different detents on what angle you want to throw the snow. So you can go anywhere from straight up almost to 90 degrees and that's all you have. So when you let go of the drive, as soon as you let go, it pops the auger up. So that stops it right there unless you're holding the auger. So if you start, if you go and start with the on-off button, start the auger and start moving. And you want to stop moving, of course, uh, if you let go and hold the auger down, it will continue running until you let go of that. Or if you have the left hand and the right hand is locked and you let go, they both come off. Does that make sense? Our batteries are fully charged. So we're gonna put them into our dual compartment. Hear that click on both sides. You got see-through windows here so you can see how much power is left in the battery and there's only one thing left to do and that's take this baby for a burn. So as I mentioned, we do not need to actually start the auger to move it or even press the power button. As long as those batteries are installed, this thing is ready and it's live to move. Let's go. Woohoo!
All right, let's go backwards. Ooh. Ooh, I feel like I'm hurting my poor baby already by scraping it, but anyways. Since that self-propulsion unit is always live, as I mentioned, when the batteries are inserted, just to prevent any accidents happening, especially when you have little kids around and they might squeeze the handle, what I like to do is just hit those two switches so those batteries pop out of that connection zone. And now, it doesn't matter if you squeeze the trigger or not, this thing will not move. Just in case you're wondering, what's the difference between a single stage and a dual stage snow blur? Well, it's pretty simple. A single stage uses an auger in a box, just like this one does, but that auger not only collects the snow, but it also ejects the snow as well. So it's doing a dual purpose. Where a dual stage, the auger itself just collects the snow and you have a separate impeller that shoots the snow. This method allows you to clear a lot more snow. Just trying it out around my house, mainly on the lawn because I don't want to scrape it up on the pavement at this point yet. The blower is very well balanced and it has zero issue up the inclines. The nice thing is it also has a limited rear slip differential for the driven wheels, which makes it really nice to pivot and maneuver this machine. Like all the other products in the Eagle lineup, the new two-stage snowblower uses Eagle's 56-volt arc lithium-ion batteries. Although it will work on just a single battery, they recommend using at least two 5-amp-hour batteries. The snowblower uses both batteries at the same time for peak power, and according to Ego, this allows the unit to operate under higher amperage and draw conditions, which can prevent the machine from bogging down, which can happen with gas blowers. Auger, power on. <laughs> so this is how loud it is. Basically you have the noise of the brushless motors, but you don't have any internal combustion engine. And the beauty of this is that there are no fumes, there's no gas, and you know, in winter cold months, it can be hard to start something that's gas powered that you don't use very often. So this is a real, real welcome to the Eagle family for sure. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Unfortunately, there's no snow yet, as we mentioned, but I've never been so excited to root for snow. I can't wait for it to snow. And when it does, I will give you a full review of this brand new two-stage Eagle blower. And I'm going to blow all the snow off my driveway and all the neighbors' driveways as well. So, till next time, see ya!